Hello everyone, I'm Ben Coleman, one of your many hosts here at the Florida Aviation Network, coming to you broadcasting live and in the clear from the terminal building here at the uh, Sport Aviation Expo 2019 here in Sebring. And what a glorious, glorious time we're about to have here. This is at the top of the top of the event, and we have uh, so many neat things to show you and uh, interesting people to talk to. And again, it's all about educate, innovate, and aviate. And uh, this is all about safety as well. It's we, everything that we do here at the Florida Aviation Network has an underpinning of safety because it's uh, in aviation. It's pretty important. Uh, we're here today with uh, one of our uh, guests. Well, actually, he's the guest and future host of many of the events here we're going to have at the Florida Aviation Network, Mr. Ron Tennermans. Close. Timmermans. Timmermans, that's it. Ron, yeah. give me a handshake. Ben, thank I, you. I did that actually on purpose. Did you? Okay. Because most people, uh, when you see your name is Timmermans in aviation, anybody heard the term of a Tinnerman nut? Yes, I've heard of that. Well, uh, you're always going to be Ron Tinnerman to okay. Obi, because Obi, Obi will always you. call you Tinnerman. Yeah. But, uh, Ron, I understand that you have made some accomplishments in aviation, and we were talking a little bit earlier that uh, you, what, what's the most important hour in flying? In my mind, it's the next hour that I go flying. Excellent, and that's yeah. a good point to remember, because if you don't practice and do well, uh, on the previous hours, the next one really doesn't matter because you're probably not going to make it. Exactly, exactly. So always plan for how am I going to conduct the next hour of flying in a safe manner so that you'll come back and there will be another next hour to follow that. Ron, tell me, I know that last year you were flying for, stuck for a year for General Aviation Awards. And uh, share a little bit more about what you have been involved with with aviation. And let's develop what makes Ron the man come <laughs> to the Florida Aviation Network and uh, why we're so, so proud to have you here. Well, thank you, Ben. I, I appreciate the, uh, the kudos. So um, <clears throat> there's a lot of great flight instructors um, in, throughout the United States. I was just fortunate enough to be selected in the Orlando FISDO in the uh, FAA Southern Region uh, last year to be the flight instructor of the year. Uh, so it was, a, it was a great honor, but uh, I consider myself representing a great group of people I just happen to have gotten the uh, application in on time. So anyway, other things that I um, have been involved with, um, I'm a flight instructor, of course, and I do a lot of flight instruction for uh, owners of uh, Beechcraft, Bonanza, and Baron airplanes. That's primarily my uh, independent flight instruction business is helping people that already have um, their own aircraft, either uh, with transition training if they're new to the aircraft or proficiency training or instrument proficiency checks and the like. And so. I've um, had a great pleasure of flying with a, a large number of people in the Florida area. I often go back to Texas where I used to live and I've got a number of clients that I've worked with for years on end uh, in, in Texas. So every time I go back there, I send out a few emails and I stay there for a week and I end up flying with four or five people uh, in Texas with uh, clients and good friends of mine. So it's been a, a pleasure and um, uh, we, um, my wife and I own a Bonanza, and that's how we got down here yesterday. Got here before the weather arrived uh, early this morning, the adverse weather, and so we had a joy flying in, and we'll head back again uh, later this afternoon. So that's a bit about me. How about you, uh, Ben? You're from uh, Lakeland, I understand. Uh, Lakeland is the, is the new home. Uh, actually, I was born and raised in Orlando, uh, and uh, Orlando has changed a little bit since 1956. And... Uh, I don't know if it's all for the good, but it is a change, and it is getting bigger and better, but it's a change. But uh, the uh, uh, my background is not nearly as, uh, as colored as yours. Uh, I am practicing to be a CFI. I've been studying uh, for a good number of years. I took the writtens twice and let them expire due to the 24-month calendar both times. So I'm getting pretty good at taking the writtens because it just... Once I get the written, something else pops up and pulls me away. And in aviation, you got to be flexible, but you you also have to stay focused on what the goal is. And at this time, I'm going to get it before I get 70 years old. I will be a flight instructor. Good for you. But, but Ron, tell me. Uh, and of course, my background is uh, NTSB, FAA, and uh, I, I, Obi and I worked together at the FAA for many years before we retired, so we could do our real job. And uh, that's here at the Florida Aviation Network, talking to you fine folks. But uh, 
Ron, the, uh, the, the importance of, of your background and your past, I know that you've been in some pretty harrowing situations and in your, your experience. We haven't delved into what got you to this point. Uh, you, you weren't a flight instructor from age uh, 18, I'm sure. But, uh, but one of the most harrowing things that you're going to find yourself doing is being a host of a internet streaming live video feed. It will just terrify the wits out of you. At times when you get up here and you're hosting and you're talking to a very, very important guest and you go mind blank, just, just mind dead, just death by, death by silence. You know what you're trying to say. You know what you want to say, but it just won't come out. <laughs> and, you know, the best thing to do when you get in that situation, because this is a little bit of training going on here as well, is um, roll with it. And when it's obvious that I just forgot what I was supposed to say, there's nobody here to help me. Obi's not talking in my ear. Roll with it. Say, you know, folks, I just went completely brain dead. I don't remember what I was going to say. And, and if you turn it around that way, it, it causes everybody to relax, especially Obi, because then he can breathe. And, oh, good grief. We're, we're going to make it through this. And, uh, but it's very, very important to make your audience and your guests especially feel comfortable. Relax. You know, we're just talking here. I'm sure. Well, thanks for those uh, good words and uh, the suggestions, um, Ben. I, um, in, in speaking uh, both in flight training and other public speaking that I've done. I've occasionally had those moments where I've had a brain cramp and I uh, just couldn't remember what it was I was going to say. And so, yeah, I've, I've kind of developed um, an idea for how to just kind of roll with it, as you say. And so I'll uh, put that to good use here. So terrified, um, I don't know, do I look terrified? I'm not... Only on occasion. Ah, okay. Only on occasion. Good. good. So I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll try and not look terrified and, uh, and continue on here. May I... Um, tell the audience about uh, who we have uh, on deck today for interviews due to the fact that you have the schedule in your lap yeah and I don't I'm gonna pump you for Ron tell us what's fixing to happen today okay I'll be glad to do that so um, we've got a number of interviews that uh, will start uh, beginning at 930 this morning first uh, Ben is going to interview mr. John Zapp who is the president and founder of the Flying Musicians Association I'm told um, John is very easy to talk to, so you shouldn't have any trouble with him, Ben. Uh, he's got a lot to tell uh, the audience about with his uh, role in Flying Musicians Association. Following that, I'll have the opportunity to interview Mr. Phil Lockwood, a local resident of uh, Sebring here. Phil is the president of Lockwood Aviation Rotax folks here, and there's a lot that we'll learn, uh, particularly about Rotax engines and all the work that uh, Phil is doing through uh, Lockwood Aviation. Then uh, later this morning, Mr. Steve McCauley will be... Um, here and uh, be interviewed and he Steve is the executive director of the Seaplane Pilots Association so we'll learn some good things from him about what's happening in that organization and then uh, at the end of the morning just before lunch I'll have the opportunity to in interview Mr. Jamie Beckett he is an AOPA ambassador li from living and working here in Central Florida uh, Jamie is uh, deeply involved in the AOPA's Learn to Fly program, Rusty Pilots program and the like I'm sure we'll learn a lot of good things from from Jamie as well then this afternoon, Ben, you're on by yourself because I've got another um, uh, opportunity to, uh, to do some ground instruction elsewhere here at uh, Sebring uh, this afternoon. So you'll be interviewing Mr. Brant Howell, who is uh, with the Sebring Flight Academy. And then uh, following that, Mr. Scott Severin with the U.S. Sport Planes, North American importer. He will be here uh, and uh, looking forward to your questions and interview with him. So that's the lineup for today. It's pretty exciting. A lot of good folks. I'm sure we're going to learn a lot. And uh, for those of you viewing us, you're going to uh, enjoy seeing all these folks and listening to uh, Ben and me as we're interviewing them and uh, pulling the information out of them for you. Ron, I am so proud to have you here because uh, you bring a certain uh, air of confidence to the set uh, that, that I have been lacking for many years. And uh, we, we do enjoy the fact that in aviation, even the, the beautiful sunny weather and the rainy weather is uh, the rainy weather is good because it gives you an opportunity to do ground school and talk about flying and uh, and do the uh, the technical end of it as well as uh, look forward to the bright shiny end of it indeed so you had mentioned um, earlier when we were talking Ben that um, 
rainy days like this uh, are ones that you enjoy because when you're teaching ground school, you have uh, the pilot's undivided attention. Uh, they are, in fact, um, uh, they are in fact uh, focused on you with the ground school training rather than uh, wondering what, what it would be like if they're up in the air. Well, okay, we're going to wrap it up here, Ron, because uh, we've got to get ready for another shoot. But uh, look, you have fun today and enjoy uh, every one of these presentations uh, wherever you're sitting in the comfort of your living room or if you're outside on the ramp. So Ben Coleman here with the Florida Aviation Network. We're going to wrap it up. We'll see you at the next interview.